this site, when I first walked in up above, I was kind of like, eh, all right. And then I descended down the stair, about 20 feet down the bluff. And as soon as I stepped out into this parking lot, I knew it was perfect. The origin of this project goes back to 2021. We were looking at our current facilities and realizing that we were really just putting Band-Aids over wounds. The ability to take some facilities that are just barely meeting their needs and build them a new one that's suited to them uh, is gonna make a tremendous difference. Our biggest challenge in our current facility is our limited capacity. We only have 35 beds in our residential program today and we're almost always on a wait list. And that means some of our clients lose their battle while they're waiting for a space in our program. So with this project growing uh, almost threefold in inpatient beds, is gonna be able to have more ability to reach out and help more people uh, is really why this is so important. When we were looking for sites, we really thought long and hard about the impact it was gonna have on the surrounding neighborhood. Uh, we wanna be good shepherds of the areas that we occupy. Right now, we're in a really dense residential neighborhood, so Pigsville kind of felt like home. It feels very similar to the River West neighborhood that we're coming from. So we're excited that we're gonna be able to bring some business into an area that's been an empty lot for almost a decade. Being able to build for what we know is the really unmet need across the state of Wisconsin is gonna make an incredible impact, not just here in Milwaukee, which is our home, but really across the entire state. This project has been an honor to work on, particularly because of the amazing team that we assembled. We first got engaged with Made a House about 10 years ago through Community Action, which is our pro bono uh, program, and we renovated their current facility in River West. From the architectural standpoint, from the construction standpoint, and from the ownership standpoint, it's a lot of women. The internal Made a House team, the team that we have with Catalyst and HGA, we are beyond uh, blessed to have a team of passionate professionals who understand our vision and understand the impact that this project is gonna have on the community. We're not just here to build you a building and then walk away, we're here with you the entire way. With a nonprofit, uh, one of the biggest challenges is always staying on budget. Making sure that there's security and safety, that we're following institutional guidelines, uh, code guidelines. Making sure that we're getting the right program space, but making sure that they're spending their dollars wisely as well. We're building an institutional building for women and children who want to feel like they're in their own home. And so that's a design challenge. Uh, and it means picking the right materials and um, designing spaces that are filled with light, uh, spaces that children can thrive in. When you get that phone call of a, a mom or a sister saying, you know, I have a family member that needs help, you want to get them in that day. We can't have any interruption in services. So we have to be there able to serve our clients, you know, in our old location one day and then lights on, fully operational the next. So every design decision we made was in the interest of the women and children that are going to be using this facility. We want to make sure that we're uh, creating a community within the space as well as within the surrounding neighborhood. So making sure that while we're actually constructing our, ourselves from the inside out, we're staying within our space um, on time, on budget, and on schedule. Teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work. We're in the middle of the city, and this is gonna be a quiet space surrounded by greenery. What a wonderful place to come to heal. I was actually looking back at some articles of our, like, our origin story and where we started, which actually wasn't really that far from here. It was on 28th and State, where the original house was uh, that started Made a House. And I don't think the founder could have even imagined where we are today. And I know that we're all proud to be part of the legacy that we're leaving for future generations who will benefit from the work that we do. We're gonna be surrounded by three parts of what's really one big complex. In the corner, backed up against the bluff, will be the inpatient building. So that's a four-story building that has a capacity for 100 beds on the upper floors. The lower floors will have group rooms, conference rooms, other spaces where folks can meet and receive therapy. Behind me is the bar building, which will be outpatient and admin. So again, more therapy rooms, more group rooms, some office space for the admin that's running all the programming. And then connecting those two is what we call the hub. And that's really the heart kind of of the building. So that's where everyone will come in, 
get welcomed by the wonderful Meta House staff. That way they can get where they need to go. There's also gonna be conference room and other space for people from the community to come in and gather. The ability for uh, Meta House clientele to bring their children here really did have a big impact on the design. We knew we were designing for families. We knew we were designing space where children could feel like children and they didn't feel like they were in an institutional setting. As the architect, the maybe ironic thing is that my favorite space is gonna be the courtyard. Uh, it's gonna be a space where we can see moms and kids running around. So over here is where the inpatient wing is. So there's a really tall building that's gonna be against the bluff over there, hubs here, and then the space that we're in, this is all courtyard. And as I think about when this project's complete, uh, and we're, we're standing in the space here, uh, I think it's gonna feel like home. It's gonna feel like a home away from home. It's gonna be um, warm, inviting, it's gonna be a place of belonging. So it's gonna have a tremendous impact growing from a facility that's been um, sufficient to something that's gonna be spectacular.